y plus plus now this is shorthand notation x plus plus just means x equals x plus one right it starts with zero when it's made up here in fact let's make that more clear equals zero so when they start they're zero but they would be anyway so every time this move ball gets called, that x will get bigger, and y will get bigger, so it'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, both of them. Which means the ball should zoom down the screen diagonally. Awesome! Made me extraordinarily happy the first time I got that going. Like, you can't believe how, how long I fought for it, and there wasn't the internet, and there wasn't enough help, so it's difficult. So you should appreciate that. And the ball is actually still going down, it's just gone off the screen. But we want it to bounce off the walls, don't we? Oh, by the way, x plus plus can be, like I said before, is x equals x plus 1. That's the same thing, identical. And in fact, I'm going to use that for now because <clears throat> I don't want to confuse anyone. Because that's sort of advanced notation, but you get the general idea. Okay, so now what we want is it, when it gets to the bottom of the window, window, we want it to bounce. So now we use an if statement, right? Let's start with y, right? The going down or not the going along. So if y equals, let's use double equals in Java to, to do, is it the same as, to compare, to, to, to see if it's equal. You don't do a single equals, otherwise obviously what I've been doing here, that's an assignment. So double equals, if you're comparing something, is 1 equal to 2, to use 2, right? So here we say, is y equal to um, the height of the, of the window? <coughs> we get that method, get height, we don't have to make it because it's actually part of JPanel, uh, which is part of component, so there we go. So what, if it equals the height, that means it's hitting the bottom, bottom of the window, what do we want to do? Well, we want to flip the ball around. Y, 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 Y's, right? So when it hits the bottom, we want actually the Y to stop being positive all the time and start taking one away so it looks like it bounces. Now, it sounds hard, but um, it's not really. If you imagine the ball is moving down one pixel every time, like this, like steps almost, because it's a plus one pixel, and when we get it to hit, when, when it hits the bottom, we don't want plus one anymore. We don't want it to keep going down. We want it to go up. So we do y equals minus one. Y equals y, y equals y minus one, or the note, the shorthand notation, uh, y minus minus. Uh, but don't worry about that too much. So if we do that, y equals y minus one. That should do it, right? And then we run it. <coughs> And it gets to the bottom here. And something strange happens. It doesn't stop. Well, the reason for that is because we still have the plus happening. So, yes, it probably does, well, it definitely does take away one pixel when it hits the height. But then, the next time it goes around, it uh, adds again, you know, so it's stuck. It should stick, really. Um, I'm thinking that the border at the bottom of the screen is is one of the problems, or the border at the top, because uh, get height doesn't actually return the perfect height of the window because um, of the border at the top. Now, I happen to know that the border is 30 pixels so what I'm going to do here is declare another variable int border equals 30 and that means we can refer to the border anytime we want in our code and if we want to change it we just change it once up here you know I could I could write uh, height take away 30 but then <clears throat> if I use that elsewhere when I want to change it I have to uh, go through and change the 30 on all of them so it's smart to use a variable like that Right, so what will happen? Will that that should knock the ball down one one one, and then when it hits the bottom minus the border, which will actually truly be the bottom, then it should. That's what you would expect, right? 
the Y stays the same because it's adding one, taking one away, adding one, taking one away. It's stuck at the height of the of the window, the, the height of the window, like the bottom of the window. Um, so we'll see that again. <coughs> Glides along. So that's actually almost what we want, right? It does move. But what we really want is we want to stop that Y there, adding one. So it just takes one away instead, and then it would come up, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be stuck. Well, how do we do that? Now, as I said earlier, I haven't actually looked at how they do it in Pong. I'm purely guessing, but it, it can only be one way that I can think of, unless you, unless there's a smart, cool way. What I normally consider is done is you write a boolean. A boolean is a true or a false variable. So on or off, one or zero, nothing else. And you write boolean. Now what are we what are we saying? Uh, we want to know if the ball is going down or up, right? So if it's going down, we're going to be doing that. If it's going up, we're going to be doing that. All right, we'll, we'll call that um, ball going down, <coughs> and we'll start that true. They start false by default, but if we start that true. We, well, we should if we want the ball to start in the top left, for example, because the ball has to go down when it begins. All right, so, um, but we know that when it gets to the bottom here, when it hits this thing, it's actually hit the bottom of the screen, and the ball will no longer be going down. It won't, we want it to go up. But rather than make a, a variable called ball going up, we'll just use the ball going down variable because it has another setting. So when it's not going down, it must be going up, right? So we go ball going down equals false. And we'll put a message in there just so we can see what is actually happening. Prove what is happening as useful for debugging and all the rest of it. Right. So we'll say ball y flip. It has flipped because it's it's been going down and now it's going up again. Okay, great. We know when the ball is not going up anymore, and when it's going down, we uh, when it's going up, we say no, it's not going down anymore. But actually, this doesn't really help us yet because you need to. Uh, You need to need to <laughs> decide when that happens and when that happens, right? So you've got ball going down. So actually, what we want is a condition that says if ball going down is true. So you can just do that, or you can write equals equals true. If ball going down equals equals true, is it if it's true, right? Which is the starting state, then do that with its y coordinate. Add one each time. Move ball down one pixel each time. Okay, so we know that when it starts it's true. So when it comes in the ball will be going down. Excellent. Um and now this thing this this if it just simply detects when the ball hits the bottom of the screen and causes the y to flip causes it to flip by saying going down is not true anymore and when going down is not true then this won't happen so we want something like that copy that and paste it and say <clears throat> all right if the ball is not going down like it's going up then that must be false right if ball going down equals false then we take this because we don't actually want it in there anymore we want that to be just to, to detect the um, the ball movement so now we can put it in here <coughs> yeah move the ball up one pixel each time. So what will happen now? Well, hopefully when we run it, X is going to stay on.